Hello and welcome to the course on how to manage Logic Pro X in a day. So, we will learn you exactly how to manage the music production app called Logic Pro X, which is Mac exclusive, so you can only use Logic Pro X if you have a Mac. So, that is basically the requirements for this course here. It's a Mac computer and you have to buy and download Logic Pro X. We will also, of course, go over that one too. But if you already have Logic Pro X installed on your computer, you can just basically uh, skip the next section of this course because that's only going to be about installing Logic Pro X from scratch. Uh, yeah, so that's the only requirements for this course, basically. And I will explain how this course is going to be built up. So first of all, we have this instruction video. Next part will be downloading Logic Pro X, installing it, and just getting into Logic Pro X, basically, just opening it up. Um, then we will go over the layout of Logic Pro X. Uh, we will just explain like the first initial setup of Logic Pro X. So I will go basically from the upper left hand side and then just go over to the right side and downwards and yeah, basically just taking every single place in Logic Pro X and explaining what it does and why it's there. So the next section is plugins and that is going to be an explanation of what plugins does, why you should use plugins and uh, how to install the plugins and how to manage plugins. Uh, I will also explain exactly why you should use plugins, why, why they are so important in Logic Pro X. Next one is going to be settings. I will open up the settings window in Logic Pro X and go over uh, all of the settings just so you can see what Logic Pro X is able to do for you. There's a lot of different settings that you can like go and browse through and you can customize Logic Pro X a lot nowadays. With previous versions of Logic, like for example Logic 9, you could not customize it like you can do with the new Logic Pro X. Then we're gonna go over the library and Apple Loops. Yeah, so library is, go is basically just the sounds that are stacked up with Logic Pro X. So there are a lot of different sound libraries that come with Logic Pro X and also different plugins with real instruments and synths. So the library is basically just pre-made sounds, but I'm going to go over that, of course. And then we have the Apple Loops and Apple Loops is, yeah, it's just loops. It's like a drum loop or a music loop that is pre-made. But um, instead of just having a music audio file, Apple Loops are way more flexible with different notes. You can pitch it and you can also have it played in the same tempo as your project. And some different stuff there too going on. So we will cover that too in that section. Then we have automation. And yeah, there's a lot of things that you can automate in Logic Pro X. I think you can automate exactly all of the stuff in Logic some way, somehow. So we're going to go over that, of course. And then we have Piano Roll and MIDI Clips. So Piano Roll is the, the, the place in Logic where you can just draw out your notes. So let's say you have a piano and you want it to be played in like a chord progression or just drawing out some melodies. 
So you don't have to have any MIDI controller or some kind of piano or synth attached to your computer. You can just use your mouse and draw out your different notes and yeah, sounds. And then MIDI clips. MIDI clips are just the kind of blocks that you arrange your track with. But I will show you that, of course. Then we have the workspace which Logic calls it workspace, but that's just the arrangement window. We'll go over why it's so important to know the arrangement window and manage it very good. And you can, of course, just put off your different kind of MIDI clips out there and sounds and everything, but it's really good to, to really know what you're doing in the arrangement window because that, that is going to be your song. So. Uh, yeah, and then next one we have the flex mode, and flex mode is uh, 